in our previous video, we have installed uh, Visual Studio 2019, right? So still we have to install SSMS uh, SQL Server 2019 and then SSMS 2019. So this two is required. So so first whatever we install, so still it's there or not? We we'll see. Okay, SSIS and SSRS. Uh, so you can go with the new project and then we can see. So all whatever we installed, so you can go with the file section. In the file section, you can go with the new and then, so you can go with the file section, new and then projects. So click on the projects. So which projects you want to create? Uh, so if you want to create with the, uh, so, um, you know, SSIS or uh, tabular model or whatever, maybe, okay. So like SQL Server, so if you want with the, go with the SQL Server integration service, so integration. So you can go and then choose the uh, integration service here. So integration. So here is the integration service projects. So here is the integration service. Just click on that and then uh, click on next. So it will take you to so create some project integration service projects, whatever the name you want to give, and then wherever the path you want to keep. So you can go and then so for, for now I'm not changing anything. I'm giving the default location and everything. So then create. This is the SSIS related, uh, you know, Visual Studio. If you want the SSIS, then you can go with the new project. And then you can go with the analysis service tabular model and then click on next. So even it will create the SSIS related things. Actually. So for local host, you want to go with that and then you click the test connection. So it, it will give so uh, SSIS related. So again, uh, you want to go with the you know, RS. So again, new file, click on RS. That's, the That's it. So even you can you know create SSCS like that. It's asking some sign in. And then you can go over here and then you can go with the SSRS. So reporting. Reporting. Report project. So just click on that and then click next. So create it. So it's related to the SSR. So okay, shared data source, shared data sets, and then even you can have a toolbox. Like, uh, you can go through here. You can a toolbox on here. Yeah. Okay, you can have a toolbox here. So something like that, you can go and then select. So loading so it's related to the ssrs okay you can go and then create whatever the projects you want you can uh, by default so it will so now so now you can go with the so we'll see the sample of uh, related you know things in ssis and ssrs and then ssrs as well but now so we'll go with the uh, sql server 2019 okay let's go here and then search sql server 2019 download Okay, just to click on that, even if you want to write a download, so just download. So this is the Microsoft official one. So just click on that. So if you go down, so if you go down, so there is a developer edition. Okay, you can click on this developer edition, download. Just click on download, it has been downloaded now. So just open that exe file. So it's asking, uh, so yes, I want to um, change the device. So it's now downloading. So let's select the basic, not the custom one and then download here. Just select the basic one. Um, then So accept everything. So by clicking accept. So read these things and then accept it. Then go and installation. So it's downloading now and then it will download. Okay, so it will download um, SQL Server. 
2019. After this download, then we'll go for the SSMS. So this is required for the MSDI. So it's it's three download guys, which take time. So based on your internet speed, it will take time and then uh, see. Okay. So let's wait for uh, so installation is started. So even uh, starting installation of download successfully and then installation is started. So installing the first of all, wait for uh, one moment. So installation now, so it's um, almost going to be complete. So it's, yeah, so it's setting up, so it's done. So it's take one more two minutes, I think so. so it's done, guys. It's almost done. We wait for this. <clears throat> yeah. Download and installation is completed. Now we go for the installation SSMS 2019. Okay. So, so we have completed the uh, SQL Server 2019. Now we have to go with the installation uh, 20 SSMS installation. Okay. So here is the installation SSMS installation. Even you can search that in a Google or else okay, it also give the SMS uh, installation. So you can go and that and then uh, click here for the free download. So here is the option. So just click on that. So it will, it's downloading that exe file setup. Okay, SMS setup is downloading now. So you can go and then uh, see the download now. So it's take uh, almost two minutes of time. So we'll wait for it. Setup is almost done now. So it's almost done. So, so it's done now. So you can even you can go to the download part also. Even you can go to the download section. So in the download section, so you can see uh, this SMS setup. Just click on that. So just click on that. It will take you to the setup part. Like how, uh, yeah. So just click on yes. So click on yes. So it will start uh, recording the. So it will start uh, install. Okay. So click on install. So it will take. Uh, so see, the package in progress, and then uh, even the overall uh, progress also is coming here. It takes some time to. Uh, so wait for it. It's running back in process. Just we we'll wait for this. Yeah, the overall progress. So This is completed now, so we can go and minimize and then connect now. And it will, uh, it's running the you know comments. Okay, so custom. click on custom, so not connect now. So we can, so there are still uh, setups are there. So, uh, so if you want updates, okay, you can click on uh, recommend updates. For now, I'm not going for any updates. So just click next, and then next. So just click on next, 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 and then. So then you can go with the next. So then you can go with the next. So develop edition only. We are going, and then click on next. So the terms and conditions, it's okay. And then you click. So here is the important thing is okay. You want only um, you know, database engine you require, and also we require data quality and then uh, data quality services and then analysis service. You also require analysis service, and also we require integration service. So here is the integration service. So this uh, that point is required. 
and then click next. Why? Because so you need deployment, right, for SSIS and SSRS. So here you can give the some instance name. Uh, so this is the instance name you can go and give like M MSS here. Simple server. It's already so if you you know click on that so click on next saying it's already in use. Okay, if you want to give some one one, okay. So whatever it may be case, okay. If you want to give one, so you can give that and then click next. So instance configuration. So the configuration is going on. <coughs> and uh, so you have what is that? SQL Server agent and then uh, SQL Server agent you have database engine analysis service integration service and then browsers. Select that and then so next click next. So here you have to add the current user. So just um so I'm adding my current user only. And then next here also you need for analysis service also only current user. So here you have a two options. Okay, so for multi-dimensional and uh, tablet model. So if you want to, so we, here you can select only uh, at a time one. So, but if you want to, you know, multi, so for now I'm going with the tablet tablet model. If you want a even multi-dimensional model also, you have to set up the configuration one more time and then next click on next the time you have to select with the multi-dimensional. Okay, so for now I'm going with the then install. So now uh, this is almost uh, everything is will set up and then it will finish that. So now we are ready to work with the SSIS and SSRS and the SSAS. Okay. So this is about the complete setup of uh, you know uh, MSBI. So if you want to work on MSBI, all uh, SSAS and SSRS and uh, these things. So you need to set up the things. Okay, these things. Okay, it takes few minutes of time, so we wait for that. The setup is almost completed now, so you can go and complete that, and then so it's almost completed. For that, so. It's almost completed. So it's going to be finished soon. Yeah, so it's finished. So everything is successful now. Okay. So you have uh, you know database engine analysis service, integration service, data quality services, and then client services also. So you can close this and then so you can click on connect now. If, you, if it is not connect here, then you can close this and then even you can close this. So you can exit yes. So now go to start button. Click on SSS, type SSMS, so it will give like this. So just click on that SSMS, so it will open a wizard. So like uh, the SSMS. So here you can see all uh, you know uh, SSIS and uh, SSRS and everything. So now. See, this is the database engines. Okay, you have what? So you have database engines, SQL Server Analysis Service, Reporting Services, Integration Services. Even you have Azure SSIS integration runtime also. So whatever you want to connect, you can connect. For now, I'm going to connect with that and then just click connect. 
we connect. So this is the way we can. Oh, so these are the so no databases here now. So if you want to go with the database, okay. Now we are good to go. So we have a Visual Studio 2019. So there you have a you know uh, SSIS and SSRS and uh, everything. So even uh, so to deploy, we have a SQL server. So this then you can uh, ready to go now. So hope uh, you are clear with the installation. So you can start work on that. Like tomorrow onwards, we'll go with the you know uh, this SSIS. Uh, okay, SSIS. You can go with the SSIS project, and then we can work on. So we'll learn complete end to end SSIS, and then we'll go with the SSRS, and then SSAS. Yes, okay. Hope uh, so you like my video. So please uh, share and subscribe my channel. Guys, okay. So yeah, thank you. So this is the first time if you are uh, watching my uh, video. So please subscribe my channel. Guys, thank you.